gee, whatever should I talk about this week? I mean, don't get me wrong, there's no shortage of news coming out of Washington to infuriate any concerned citizen. So a lot of people might have already moved past the huge slap in the face of gender equality that Paul Ryan served up last week. According to a report filed by CBS, sleeveless dresses and blouses worn by women are no longer acceptable attire in the House chamber and the Speaker's lobby. Now, before I get any emails, yes, this policy was written way before Trump, but its sudden enforcement is, according to multiple accounts, unprecedented. Reporter Haley Byrd for the Independent Journal Review was removed for the audacity of solicitously flaunting her arms, and her story was confirmed on Twitter by a number of female reporters. And look, it's Jew fucking lie. It's absolutely boiling in D.C. And I mean, if this administration wasn't so committed to accommodating the free press, I'd start to suspect that this was just another way for them to reject questions from and try to subvert that pesky First Amendment. But instead, we're asked to believe that the men we've entrusted with our highest levels of governance are just a naked bicep away from dry humping the nearest fire hydrant. Can't actually say which option scares me more. And speaking of what not to wear, pastor anti-gay bigot and Oprah's next curse upon the earth to seal the seven-symboled door, John Gray had some ideas during a church service for just what wives shouldn't wear, and the answer to that is apparently clothes. Now look, I'm not trying to come off as anti-naked here, but if you listen to the creepy-ass series of commands he tells his congregation to give their wives, it's hard to believe you're not watching the beginning of a serial killer movie. He said, I quote, Every woman in here at some point wants a man to come home and say, babe, here's a thousand dollars. Go get your nails done. Get your hair done. Get a pedicure. Get a manicure. Okay, I've got to stop there. A thousand dollars for nails and hair? Where the fuck is this person getting their hair done? Anyway, after each of the members of his church has filled their hair with diamonds and painted their fingernails with caviar, he continues, quote, here's a box. Open this. Wear this when I get home. Nothing is in it. She's like, there's nothing here. Exactly. Have that on when I get home. The bills are paid. The kids are covered. I've prayed over you. And now handle what you need to handle so we can have a nice night. Put on Luther Vandross. Put on Luther. And let's do what we need to do. Because that's what a woman wants. And she should want it because God made it that way. Well, that's a creepy turn at the end there, ain't it? I mean, everything else I can forgive, but she should want it because God made it that way? Sounds more like a North Carolina Supreme Court decision than a romantic night to me. And while I'll explain to Noah that I'm apparently entitled to a lot more hair and nail maintenance here, I'll turn things back over to Noah, Heath, and Eli.